Today, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to be going out into the wilderness and taming wild unicorns. I'm so excited, this is gonna be sweet. Now, you guys see the magical like button above my head. I need you guys to smack it in the face with a fish so that the magical unicorns are released in my world and also your world too. All right, let's do it. You have your fish in three, two, one, slap it. I think it worked. Now, dudes, there are four different species of unicorns that I'm going to go out and hopefully be able to tame. If you guys do want to see another episode, I'm pretty sure Bessie said I'm able to interbreed these different unicorns to try and make some of the most rare and powerful unicorn pets possible. So if this video hits 10,000 likes, I'll be sure to make a part two. But anyway, without further ado, Bessie, let's get into this. Bessie, Bessie, Bessie. Oh, wait, well, I, don't, I don't want apples. No, I gotta save the apples for the unicorns. Bessie, here's your fish. Uh, take that, Bessie. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Okay, I'm just excited. Oh, hey, Rodney, what's up? Oh, he's going to pick up the fish. Okay, this is weird. But anyway, it looks like Bessie has a book called The Magical Horse Guide. So it looks like this details the four different species of unicorns, which you guys may have seen on my channel a couple days back. Now, sadly, Bessie forgot to tell me that those were only cloned unicorns, so they disappeared disappeared from my lab in 24 hours. Rodney, would you please just chill? Okay, go make some cookies or something. You're getting a little bit annoying. But it looks like in this chest, we have a ton of unicorn upgrades that I have yet to check out. We have wands that are super magical that we can put on our unicorns. We also have different weapons. We can add chests to our unicorns. Also, we have this amazing dragon steel armor, which should hopefully protect me from any of the unicorns that, you know, don't want to be my pet and try and absolutely kill my face. But it looks like the first unicorn that was released in the world when you guys smack the like button is just a normal unicorn which can be found in the plains or the forest biomes. Now since some of these unicorns are going to be probably super far from my house, Bessie crafted up the super advanced lassos which I should be able to right click on the unicorns, capture them, and then bring them all back super peacefully. And just in case anything gets a little bit crazy, I have this giant lance. Now I know for a fact there is indeed a plains biome right over here, I'm just not sure if the wild unicorns are going to want to spawn anywhere near my house. I don't know if you guys noticed, but a lot of mobs tend to not spawn anywhere near my house because I have like 16 dragons, a wolf pack, a mystical tree that all guard it. But if you guys do see any magical horses throughout this video, please drop a comment down below so that I can maybe go back later and find them if I do miss out on any. Unicorn! Bestie! Unicorn! Bessie didn't really tell me the best call in order to try and get their attention. Like, what sounds does a unicorn even make? Hello, are you a unicorn in disguise, Mr. Chicken? I know you might be a unicorn. Since unicorns are very, very magical creatures, they possibly maybe have the ability to turn into different mobs. Let me sniff you. Ugh. Nope, okay, that's just a fake Bessie. Okay, all right, wrong way. Nope, turn around. I do not feel like fighting a flippin' dragon today. So it looks like we were super close to finding some unicorns, except uh, they're horses instead. And I do not want a horse. I don't want any normal Minecraft mob. I already have Bessie and Rodney, which is enough. Even though I guess Rodney's not technically even a normal mob. Oh my gosh, guys, look! Oh, yes! This is it! Wait, why is it dying? Why is it dying? Are you serious, dudes? What the heck? Why did it die? Oh my gosh, it dropped a Pegasus feather. That means there was just a Pegasus here, and I couldn't even save it. <laughs> this stinks! I was this close! So it looks like in Bessie's book, um, none of the normal unicorns spawn in deserts, but there is a special breed called a nightmare, which probably can spawn somewhere deep in a desert. Uh, okay. There's just wild dinosaurs out here. There's so many different mobs out here, dudes, but I can't find one. Wait a second. Hold on. You guys see fire over here, right? I think we may have found a nightmare, but it's a baby one. We found a baby one. Oh, this guy's so cute. Okay. I need to make sure not to get too close. I'm gonna right click on it with the lasso and we officially have one out of the four different breeds of unicorn. What? What? Oh, hey. Ha no. No, 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 no. Stop it. What's happening? Ow. Ow. Chill, dude. Okay. I'm surrounded by them. Go, 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 go. Okay. We only have three more left we have to find. Oh, my gosh. Really? There's another horse down here? I've literally found so many horses. Wait a second. Hold on. You guys see the... 
Dudes, it has a horn. It's a unicorn. Hello, pretty unicorn. Hi. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Eat the apples. It does not want to eat the apples. Don't mind if I do. We will bring you back, tame you up, put on a saddle. Uh, no, no, please don't charge me. For some reason, every time I get close to a unicorn, they just try and attack me with their super sharp horn. Next up on our list, I want to definitely find a Pegasus. Now, these things, from the looks of it, can spawn in pretty much every single biome other than a swap biome, which is where I am. I definitely want to be sure, just in case I find another Pegasus or the other breed that I'm looking for, a Destrier, that I'm ready to go just in case it's dying. So I'm going to have my lasso out. Um, wait, dudes, okay. I think we may have found some more. This is awesome. Look, we have so many here. Uh, why do I hear a dragon? Oh my gosh, you you gotta be kidding me! No, not my Pegasus! No, 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 get in the lasso! I got it! We gotta move. We gotta get the heck out of here. I am lagging like crazy. Luckily, I have some insanely overpowered armor on, but I need to make sure to stay on the move. I'm pretty sure there was actually two giant dragons there. I'm gonna see if maybe I fly high enough. It'll just kind of get bored of me. We're currently almost 300 blocks in the sky. Hold on, let me start looking down. Dude, it's still after me. Wait a second, what the heck is this thing? Okay, I fell through it. I think I might be safe. Okay, I still see it down there, but I'm really curious what was in this chest. The dragon burnt the flipping chest. Are you kidding me? So I finally managed to make it away from the giant fire-breathing dragon that really, for some reason, wanted to eat my face. But it's looking like we have three out of the four wild unicorn breeds. We have the nightmare, the unicorn, the Pegasus, and the last one we need to find is called a Destrier. This one's a little bit tricky, though, because we need to go to an Ice Plains biome or a Taiga biome. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it does not look very icy in any direction whatsoever. Oh, look, guys, I found Unspeakable. Hey, can you point me in the direction of ice biomes, plains? No, you just want to jump on my head? Fine, whatever. I'll find it myself. Nope, 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 nope. Not going that way. Not going near any more dragons today. Wait a second. I somehow found one right here. This is honestly the first one I've seen, and it is absolutely massive. Look at it. I'm literally the size of a one single leg. This is sweet. Okay, I'm gonna right click on you, big guy. Of all the four wild breeds of unicorns. I'm gonna go ahead and fly home, but ladies and gentlemen, I think we officially did it. I know for a fact from the other video where Bessie made the unicorn clones that there are a couple super rare species. The only way to get them is by breeding together these four base unicorns. So if you guys do want to see that for a separate video where I just breed and kind of try and figure out what breeds make what unicorns, please drop a like. There we go, boys. We made it back. Now, I know for a fact Bessie does not want me keeping them in her lab. So I'm thinking because we're probably going to be doing DNA experiments with these brand new unicorns, I'll bring them down to my secret lab. I just need to make sure nobody gets suspicious and Bessie doesn't come up from her lab. There we go go nice and easy we'll head right down i'm honestly super excited i've had so many pets but i've never had something as magical as a unicorn so i'm thinking i'm gonna keep them in the uh overworld container why is there a leak in my laboratory i really need to hire some scientists in here to keep track of everything but yeah in the meantime i'll head over here there's a nice little environment where all the unicorns can hang out hopefully they all get along but it looks like first we have the nightmare with which actually I'm gonna go spawn him in the nether. He literally makes fire that just does not go out. Let's also spawn in the unicorn in here. We can get the Pegasus, which is still on fire. It's okay, buddy, there you go. And last but not least, we have the giant Destrier, which is honestly my favorite. Also, if you guys have any name suggestions for these puppies, please leave a comment down below. But let's just head over here to the nether. We'll make sure this bad boy can't escape. And here we have our last guy, the Nightmare, who's a little tiny baby yours. He's so cute. And also very scary and vicious and probably will burn everything. Ow, ow, okay. All right, dude, stop setting me on fire. What did I do to you? I'm pretty sure since this little guy is just a baby, I'm not actually able to tame him yet. So I'm gonna leave him in here until he's nice and grown. I'm just gonna leave him in there. And in the meantime, in between episodes, I'll be sure to tame all these guys and then I can use Bessie's brand new unicorn materials, like the armor. I'm pretty sure there's helmet slots for these guys. I could also add magic wands to their horns, which is going to be sick. So I'll be sure to do that in between episodes. I hope you guys did enjoy though. I haven't gotten a new pet in a while, so I'm super glad to be able to get four brand new pets that I've never seen. 
Be sure to drop a like for a part two and comment some name suggestions down below. That is going to wrap it up, though, dudes. My name is Beckbro Unicorn Tamer Jack, and I will see you guys all hopefully back again here tomorrow for a brand new video. Peace out, dudes.